Welcome back to me, looking crusty. So today, we're getting my life together, part 558. At least since I started my YouTube channel, I haven't actually had online school that whole time. Cause I moved and like the transition took like a month for me to even get back in school. So I was chilling. Now I have to like incorporate school in my schedule. That was my list for today. This is actually meant to stay like morning ritual. I realized when I fill out my planners days ahead, especially when I have nothing to do and I'm just giving myself things to do, I like pre-stress myself out. This is how my planner looked last week. And then I just, I was so stressed. Except that, cause I was just looking at everything. I'm just like, <sighs> my first meal of the day. Butter and toast. Butter isn't really good for you though. Once you realize that you really don't have to prove shit to people, it's like, it's level one. Like, this life is a simulation, and you've like entered level one of like unlocking your true powers. Like, approval, validation, all of that shit is dead. And once, you can't force it to happen. You can't say, oh, I'm not gonna give a fuck. No, it literally has to be something that clicks in your brain, and you're just like, what the fuck on? Why am I trying to be perfect in such an imperfect world? Like, it's like, <laughs> it's a light bulb and it's like, Guys, I'm in class. I. Can we log out? wrote some affirmations and I feel really good and just like the remembrance that everything is already in place and happening that I'm already whole and like yeah I look I don't look the greatest but you know I'm so proud of myself right now. It's 10.20 and this is the time I estimated I would be done my yoga. So I did like 20 minutes of yoga. So now we're gonna work out for like 30 minutes and like my remaining. So I should be done by like 10.40. So my class is at 11 o'clock, and I usually take a shower during that class, but we'll see what she on today. We're back, and I finished at 10.49. <sighs> my little workout, I'm so tired, guys. I'm starting to do my makeup, I did one eyebrow, but to do this eyebrow, I used the even method. Look, the perfect triangle. Look guys, it came my it went in my eye. Oh my god, it went in my fucking eye. Oh But 
not too sure how much I'm feeling these pants. I always forget to vlog. You guys already know this, but I'm finishing my homework. I always put my school computer in my drawer so I won't have to see it. Especially when I'm done. So I won't have to be reminded by that stench place. <clears throat> I go downstairs to eat. And um, I'm told that a teacher emailed my parents saying that I don't put my face on the camera. I hate people so much. The class is literally only for 20 minutes. Really like authority, like authoritative figures. Like I hate people trying to tell me what to do and how to do it. I hate it so much because I'm just like, who the fuck are you? Like we are all you humans. And especially when it's not coming out of a genuine place, it's coming out of a this is what I want you to do because I think it's what is best for you. AKA parents. I'm so tired of people thinking like they have the power of like that I need their validation in order for me to do things. And I'm so tired of giving people validation. I'm so tired of trying to make people happy. Like it's the most draining thing. Stop trying to make people happy. It would never fucking work. Like I'm going through this spiritual journey and this healing process. And every day I just keep asking myself, how do you forgive people? How do you look past people who constantly look down on you? Like <clears throat> How do you do that? How do you move past from, how do you move on from that? Like, you choose how other people affect you, but like, when you're living with them, and it's, it's so hard, especially when you hear like, the constant bickering. And truly just become the best version of yourself. And if your parents, your friends, your sister, they don't like it, they can suck a popsicle stick. It's like the sun came out. <clears throat> oh, I sound like a man. So I'm reading this text and it says, one thing the Baldwin said that all black men have in common. This is one part of it, he says was the necessity to remake the world in your own image, to be, to impose this image on the world and no longer be controlled by the vision of the world and themselves held by other people. And I'm just like, isn't this what everybody wants? Like when he read that, I'm like, that's something like, sounds like me and not like I want to impose my image on the world, but I feel like we all kind of want to allow the world to see our way of thinking, which is kind of impossible and could only be certain people, but that's all we all do. That's all as artists, as writers, as musicians. That's literally all we do. I feel like impose is such a strong word. Let's just say try to convince, try to put out our ways of thinking, our ways of life, our ways of seeing the world, inside the world. Black men held, a com what held in common was their ache to come in the world as men. So to come in the world as people, not just as like people that we've been told that we were all our lives, not just as people who our parents told us, not our teachers, this Western culture, not as those people, but as who we are. When we sat down with ourselves, who we believe that we are and I feel like low-key that's what an artist is hmm. and it says and this ache united people who might otherwise have been divided as what a man should be as a whole as humans it's just like when we feel like we go into this world alone that we enter suffering alone and we feel everything that we are feeling we personalize it and then we feel like we're the only ones feeling it which and which is actually not true all the time and it's like not true at all, not even all the time. And then it says this ache, so that feeling that we feel, that suffering that we feel, united people, united us, united so you stand right there, united you and I as a whole. When we have been divided, when we have thought that 
our suffering separated us. And I posted this on my Instagram about, it was a video. And I think this is where the reference come from, where our suffering where have might have separated us, but when in reality, it actually brings us together. Our suffering has kind of made us see the world in similar ways, but like different ways at the same time. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's high. Well, oh, guys, I forgot about you again. So now I'm going to work on my manifestation board, which is technically like one of the last things on my list to do today. Hey, yo, we spoke vision right. Ignore that. It's not poop. It's pain. Today's just been like rants on top of rants. And <sighs> body dysmorphia is such a real thing because right now I look at myself and I'm just like, oh, my God. Why are you so fat? Like, it's just something that I'm struggling with right now, and I don't know, it's so hard. Most people are like, You're not even fat. Oh my god, I'm like, Yeah, but I don't see what you see. And I read The Secret, there's like this secret check of like this universal bank, it's unlimited because. The world is literally unlimited and we can get whatever day we want. So I'm gonna write out this check. Blessed, I'm so grateful for everything that you've done for me. I'm grateful for this life. I'm grateful for this time and this moment of you being here with me and just guiding it. I am already blessed. Everything I bless already exists and I'm already a great writer. I'm already a multi-millionaire. Money is not a problem to me. I actually don't know how to write checks. This day, we're gonna write our names. And then this little box is how much we want. It's official, so this is it. So I just signed it. end this because you know it's like about to be 11 o'clock and i sat there writing and editing something but guys i pretty much finished everything not pretty much i finished everything on my to-do list today and it was great i didn't think today was gonna end up the way it did but i'm happy that it did and you know i'm about to go to sleep soon